What about this one? That's a new angle for my fish face. Good evening, miscreants. The fuck, dude? I suck at intros, to be honest. It's a weakness. I can't help it. I'm getting better at it, I promise. What am I doing, you ask? On a Friday night at 7.30? Well, I'm hanging by myself, having a cocktail, so this should be uber interesting. I'm also talking to a camera and no one else. So clearly, I'm a sociopath. I will probably at some point be making some irrelevant post with some random selfie to try to keep myself relevant on social media because that's what you do. So today, I am working with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. This beauty comes in a reign of, I don't know, 40 shades, I think? No, I, that can't be right. Yeah, yeah, 40 shades. Good math, Jen. Eight across, five down. I played with a couple of shades in this video to create this look I'm wearing right now. I did very much like this palette. Um, I feel like the, the glittery shades weren't as pigmented as her first palette. I also feel like some of the brighter shades weren't as long-standing when you apply them as I wanted them to be. But overall, it was a good palette. However, if you don't have the volume one palette, I think that one hands down beats the volume two. Now, I love the volume one palette. I've taken it with me everywhere. That palette now travels with me. It is definitely a ride or die. It has so many shades I love. It has so many natural, realistic shades you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It, the shadows are beautiful. They blend well. I love that palette. And if you don't have that one and you're trying to decide between getting that one or this one, I would get the volume one, but that's just me. This one, the shadows were more stubborn to work with, if that makes sense. But they were beautiful once you got them on. So if you wanna see what I did to create this look right here, keep watching. If you don't, feel free to exit the fuck out. But no, um, in all honesty, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have been a subscriber and you guys have been watching, but if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, you can move along. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. I recognize that I look way too tan. Tried a new self tanner. Don't think uh, I should have left it on as long as I did, but I love it, so. Concealer I'm going in with is not a shade that matches my face, but we're gonna go with it What do you guys like to do during uh, the weekends? Are you more of a get out see the town party your ass off type of person or Do you like to stay in and rewatch SVU? Criminal justice system Sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Ba -bum! I'm going on the fly with this. I don't know what I'm going to use. So, I'm mm, gonna go in with Perfectionist. Looks like a fun color, especially uh, to go with this tan, or at least to neutralize it, because Damn. Let's try a different brush. There we go. This might be too light of a color for me though. We're gonna go in with Comfort Zone? We'll try that. Oh, that's showing up a little bit better. I think I'm gonna go in next with Feeling Myself. But I'm just gonna put this a little bit above my crease because we're gonna go in some with we're gonna go in with some more vibrant shades in a few minutes i really want to use this live in my best this like beautiful like brick red Ooh! all right all right Just gonna put this on my lid. Kind of blend it out a little bit. I 
I'm gonna use hard on. I'm just gonna do it. I'm a child. I know it's I think it's funny and I like it. It's a really pretty color. So I'm gonna just pack this kind of right here on the middle of my lid. gold color Talia and put it on the inner corner of my lid if it'll stay on let's see you know what maybe the finger oh yeah fingers way better okay now we're gonna go in with crazy Do we want more gold? Oh, we going there tonight. We going nowhere tonight, that's why we're doing this look. We might go in with a little bit of Temptress just because it's a thing I do. I just like a little bit of smoke on the outer corner of my eyes. I feel like it adds some depth. So I'll just lightly try and put this color here and then I'll take my goat here and just kind of blend it in with the rest. And I'll kind of go back in with all the colors I started with a little bit and just kind of layer it until I feel like I'm comfortable with it. Okay, now we're going to do liner. Real talk, haven't changed this process in a long time. I pretty much just use a black gel liner, it's nothing new. And I alternate between the Maybelline gel and the Morphe gel. And I like the Morphe gel currently, and so that's what we're gonna use. explain to people that I pack this in my travel bag but I, I mean I use it I use it all the time this thing is almost done I have like a four pack of Nivea May and men's aftershave gel I don't know what it is is better than any other primer I've been using lately I was using a couple that were working very well and then my skin just started like not taking to those primers as well anymore. And so I was like, let's go back to Old Faithful and sure enough, all my foundation problems solved. I don't, I don't know why. Disclaimer, it does smell like men, you know? It smells like men's aftershave. I don't mind it. And we just kind of let this dry a little bit. Okay, because I'm as tan or orange as you some would like to call it, I only have a couple of shades in this specific range, and that mainly is just this Dior Fallot. Get it out. Is this Dior for? Oh my. Is this Dior? Oh my god, am I about to have a freaking stroke? Is the Dior Frau- Oof. I'm sorry guys, um... It's this. It's the Dior Forever Foundation. Wow! We did it.
this is just out of my normal palette, but this is a cream color and this is a MAC Pro color and it's called Pure Orange and I use this under my eyes, I always do. This is just a staple in my routine. Well, today we're going in with the, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use this on the daily. Um, this is gonna be too light for me, for sure, but I can't seem to find my other one. This one's the shade Medium Honey. This actually might be okay. Now I'm going to use this MAC Next to Nothing Powder to set my under eye. Again, this is strictly because of the shade choices that I have. All right, we're gonna go back in with, I think we're gonna go in with Hard On. I just, I, it's what I feel like using. But let's see how this sets. Oh no, it's not bad at all. I actually prefer this shade for my under eye, but not bad. I'm just gonna stick with the shades I was using on the top for consistency. I'm not gonna get too crazy, although this is pretty crazy. I'm actually liking this. I, for my contour, will be using this today. I am so impressed with this palette. I, like, I can't even put it into words, and I don't know why. This is the Scott Barnes Contour Palette, and I'll just show you a little bit. I've already dug into this hard, but it literally has a whole bunch of shades in it. What I love about this is it's foolproof to a point, like if you obviously put too much on, you're gonna see it, but you can play with any of these shades and they just blend together beautifully. They complement your skin. None of them look chalky or like terrible. So that is what we're gonna use today. I think to start, I'm gonna go in with frame and then we'll go from there. And I'll probably, what I like to do is just kind of kind of frame where I'm gonna go with it and then build from that. I hope that did not go how I wanted it to, but just wait. So what I'll do is I'll probably use this one to kind of like frame my face a little bit with this brush and then with a bigger fluffier blending brush I'll probably take this shade and then blend it out and kind of put that all over my face if that makes sense. By the way, I don't know that the way that I'm using it is the way that you're supposed to use it. This is just the way I'm using it. I think he makes a video on how to use it, but if I find it, I'll link it below. Or I won't, you can find it. Now I'm going in, I think I'm going to use this Copper Tone blush from MAC. I think it's Copper Tone. It should be Copper Tone. All right, now I'm going to go in and kind of just set my face. I think this is just a standard for my protocol. This is the Veil Hourglass Vanish setting powder or something. I don't think Vanish is in there. Well, 
Well, I definitely like the vibrancy of the colors on that palette. I don't know how I feel about the blendability of them, but I mean, they worked, so I can't really say I completely hate it. Okay, now I'm going to do my brows, uh, which I will do off camera, and I will be right back. Now I'm just going to take my Liquid Last Liner. You can use any liner that you have. I just kind of go over the existing gel liner because I just make, it makes it look darker and more black, and I like it to be as black as my soul. So I'll use that, and then I'm just going to do my mascara with my MAC Giga Black La extended play. Okay. Now we're going to do lashes. I'm going in with Lily Lashes. These are the mink version of the Doha lashes. So these are the mink Dohas. Now I'm going to use this Hydra Liner that I bought in a Morphe store. Uh, I've never heard of this brand before, but it's called Suva Beauty. This is the Hydra Liner, and the way it works is you just dab a little water on your brush and then kind of mix it in. It kind of works like body paint if you've ever worked with body or face paint. Same concept, water, use this, and it makes a, a beautiful bright liner. And I'm just gonna use this on the inner water line under my eyes. Not bad at all. Do you see what I mean about how bright that white is? It's beautiful, but I would be careful at using that after mascara because sometimes I think if you use too much, A, it can burn your eyes, and B, it can kind of seep through to your mascara and your mascara won't look as bright. So I usually do my mascara on my bottom line after. So now I think we are going to go in with some highlighter and I think we're going to use this Glow Getter palette. Scott Barnes, the person that made the contour palette that I just used, mentioned in a video that this is what he uses on JLo. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know. I don't know if he got paid to say that. I don't know if he actually uses that product. So don't take this as an endorsement or a full fact. I'm just restating what he said. However, I do really like this palette, and I think it's really pretty. As you can tell, I've definitely used it. It has become a staple in my repertoire of highlighters, so we are just going to use that. I just kind of, by the way, I didn't explain this very well, but I literally kind of, we can just, I avoid the dark one obviously because I'm not that dark, but you can use whichever ones you choose. I love all of them and I think they work pretty well together. I'm gonna take a minute, I'm gonna put my hair down, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna change it and then I'm gonna come back. All right, I will see you guys shortly. All right, and we're back. I gotta do lips. I have been using the Morphe lip liners lately and I actually really like them. So I think I'm going to use, which one do I have? I have Bay. I think we're gonna use Bay. I'm gonna go in with Cream Cup. And that's it. Um, I say and that's it as if I only did like five items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. I feel like I've said this a thousand times. Have a good day. Love you lots. 
Bye.